Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my review of my teen romantic comedy Snafu 2, my spoiler review. So, um, I like the first 11 minutes of this discussion better because in the first 11 minutes I discuss episodes 1 through 8 and the, the like paragraphs I wrote were a lot shorter, but with this there's a lot more stuff going on at once and it kind of makes it hard to like, um, discuss because I have to kind of cover everything because like a lot of the little details are important and everything so I'm gonna get back into this and hopefully I'll finish this up and um, you guys will probably get like part one eventually so um, Haruno just kind of comes over to the trio she was kind of like helping out with the event I believe she was a leader and as they're cleaning up after she comes over to the masters are cleaning up after the event and everything and she questions Hikigaya on what he calls genuine and she also calls Hikigaya boring and she calls the three of them lame and it's just so harsh for no reason. Like, why would you do that? I feel like she's just, like, pushing for something to happen. Um, I guess she wants him to make a decision already. I mean, that's what I thought was genuine, you know, just, like, the three of them spending time together. But I could be wrong. Yukino's mom has become more concerned about her and actually, is actually waiting for her as the three of them are walking home. But she kind of pushes her mother away and makes her leave. And Yui won't even walk home with... Uh, Hikigaya, like she said it would be unfair, and I guess she would have uh, made her move or something if she was alone with Hikigaya, because like emotions are kind of running high at this point, and Hikigaya, Hikigaya is still searching for his answer of like what's genuine. So moving on to the finale, or the final episode of season two, I finally made it, this is such a long video, um, they're in the school club. You know, like always, just talking about how uh, Komachi is getting ready for her exams. And the love triangle is so confusing. Like, I feel like up up until this point, Yui has been trying to help Yukino. Yukino only gives cookies to Yui, and Yui practically has to force her to give them to Hikigaya. And after school, it's obvious that Yukino really wants to give Hikigaya a present of treats, but she won't do it. And then Haruno shows up to pretty much insult her sister about not being herself. Her old self was a lot stronger, and I'm not sure if she would have given him the treats, but I doubt she would be struggling as much. And she's struggling because she's in love, and you can't blame her. I forgot if Yui was going to leave and let her do it or not, but there was there's something with Yui there too. After that, the three head to Yui's house, and, and we get to see Yui's mom, and people pointed out how she looks like Asuna from Sword Art Online. Uh, Yui's mom looks cool. They look very similar. Yui encourages Yukino to spend the night at her house. And Yukio, Yukino calls for permission. But a scene that was like really surprising is she uses Hikigaya's words exactly. Like exactly what he says. And even I have to agree at this point. That's a problem. Like you, you don't know what to say. You're letting people make decisions for you. I feel like she wanted to stay, but she just couldn't put it into words. And then Haruno even recognizes that um, she used Hikigaya's words, and she like she's like uh, she knows he's there, and she's like she calls him nice and everything. Haruno, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so Yui comes up with the idea the next day for the three of them to go on a date. And I was reading some comments on the on this episode, and it's pretty much the calm before the storm. Like, the kids spending time together before some crazy stuff goes down. They go to the zoo, and it's just moment after moment with each girl. Hickey guy, he praises this fish, and then the girls relate him to the fish, and then Yui calls it cute. Hickey guy, that's a big sign. She likes you. How do you not notice this? And then Yui wants to get to see, like, gets to, uh, she wants to go see the penguins, and Yukino leaves them alone. And then they even zoom in on the sign talking about the penguin couples. And it said that they tend to stay with the same partner until one of them dies. So is that like a death flag? I don't know. Is someone going to have to die for Hikigaya to pick a girl? I doubt it, but it's fun to mention. So Hikigaya actually leaves and then he goes to Yukino. So I thought he had finally made his decision because he's leaving Yui and going to see Yukino. And I mean, she's she's like the right choice anyway, I would say. I think Yui is just trying to make time with the three of them uh, last as long as possible um, as she encourages them like to continue doing activities. Like she wants this friendship to last as long as possible, but she knows like 
something bad's gonna happen. So as they're on the Ferris wheel, Hikigaya has a monologue and he says, hiding its instability, it slowly continues to turn. Instead of making any progress, it simply goes around in circles. Even so, eventually... So he's clearly talking about their relationship, but he doesn't finish it. Eventually what? I'm guessing eventually they're going to have to break out of this circle. You know, they're, they're, having, they're having fun and everything. They're um, going around this circle, but they're avoiding their problems. So eventually they're going to have to break out of this circle. And hey, maybe things might go right with them, but I doubt it. <laughs> So they're all off of the Ferris wheel and Yui goes straight into their relationship. She wants to talk about it. She gives Hikigaya her cookies and Hikigaya almost tries to reject them. I don't I don't know if he's like aware at this point because she try, she had to force the cookies on him. Like she had to put them in his hand. She had to open his hand and it just it just makes me think like is he aware of everything that's going on? Because he he still seems concern he still seems like surprised when they do certain things. So the, the the thing I just don't like is like he's such a smart guy, but he doesn't know um what like if the girls like him. But I guess the series wouldn't be like as long if he knew. But I I guess we'll get more into that later. So Yui wants to keep their relationship, but she knows things will change if everyone reveals their feelings. And part of this I got from the Insane Game Freaks video and some comments from the uh, the episodes, the various episodes. But basically, Yui is playing dirty by telling Yukino what to do because Yukino is in a state where she isn't very excuse me she isn't very strong like she was kind of strong in the first season but I guess you could say she um found more people to depend on which are you and Hikigaya so she reverts back to her original personality of what you know when she used to follow her sister around and Yui is saying that she's playing dirty she even says that she's not um she's not a nice girl as she as you think and it's the same thing that Hayato said so Terrell or the, or the Insane Game Freak said that Yukino will have to be on our own for a little bit to become independent. And that doesn't make, uh, I mean, that does make sense. But even if you're alone, alone, you can always find someone else to depend on. So I think Hikigaya will find, um, he'll help her in some way rather than um, her leaving or something. And, you know, Yui, she mentioned how she's, um, she wants it all. She wants everything. She wants the friendship. She wants the relationship. She's being greedy. Um, she, she's being, um, a coward is the way she's described it. She's being like dirty and a, a coward because she's using Yukino in a time when she's weak. And, um, you know, she wants the boy. She wants the friendship. It's not possible. Hikigai even mentions how like vague this conversation is. And it is because no one would like talk like this in real life. They're talking too figuratively, um, even like when I did that with my friend, I did that like um, online, like while we're talking, she's like, you're, you're, you're talking your riddles and stuff. So <laughs> you, you really shouldn't be talking like that. <laughs> it, it's, it's not normal. And this is just a bad situation. I mean, someone has to get hurt at the end of the day. Feelings don't just go away. I mean, he could reject both girls and their relationship won't be the same. He could pick a girl and their relationship won't be the same. But it really does come down to him and how he feels. There's no way of avoiding this unless someone dies, which would be like randomly dark for the show. And in a situation like this, I wouldn't really want to do, uh, I really wouldn't know what to do unless I actually did like one of the girls. Confessing your feelings is cool and all, but that shouldn't make someone fall in love with you. Uh, love takes time, and he has had various situations with each girl, but does he really like them? Or is he just an awkward loner having situations he doesn't know how to handle? And it was so sad watching Yukino struggle on whether to let Yui handle her business or not. Also, they did a contest at the beginning of the season. I believe for um, whoever solves the most problems um, can make the other do whatever they want. That could come into play later. And the reason why I think Hikigaya will choose Yukino in the end is because he's always looking out for her. Yes, he's helped everyone, but in a situation where Yui and Yukino want something and Yui's trying to use Yukino, Hikigaya tries to help Yuki. He tried to help Yukino because she's become so dependent. He wants her to solve her problems by herself. I just thought that could be like foreshadowing, foreshadowing with him like choosing 
choosing to help her rather than like talking about what Yui's talking about. So Hikigaya says that um in his he says that in his head that Yui is a nice girl and Yukino is a strong girl, but he's burdened Yukino with the image of uh, her being strong. And that's what he's used to, but he wants something genuine and that's not them. Cause Yui is willing to do whatever uh do whatever for her heart and Yukino isn't that strong of a person. So maybe the person he wants won't be them uh, or any girl at all. You know, he's just fooling himself into into that because um, that's what I'm sorry. I am just like talking too fast, but he's fooling himself into or I didn't type that right. So he's trying to use the image of the two girls. Uh, he wants that, but that's not what they are. So what um, I guess he wants them to be like truthful to themselves. I mean, I feel like at this point, he'd rather have them go through all the pain rather than just avoid it. And um, I just can't tell how it would end. Because if you remember, the teacher was saying that if their bond is good, the friendship should last. Plus, Yukino said that this isn't the final anything. But they don't know that until it happens. Um, the episode in the season ends with Yukino about to tell them her request. And I have no idea what, what it is unless it's like to help her find herself. The episode also caught up with the light novel, so I believe we might have to wait a few years for another season. Seasons 1 and 2 covered 11 volumes, so if the series continues, I'd say we might have um, about 3 years for another season. Because, I mean, if the first 11 volumes covered their freshman year and their sophomore year, I don't know how they do it in Japan, so that would be like sophomore and junior year here because they only have 3 years of high school. And they also have like three years of middle school or something like that. So um, we have that. And um, there was another thing that I wanted to mention. Um, when when Hayato told Hikigaya that he's becoming like, he told him to stop, becoming, stop being so bothersome. And then he said he was joking. And he said, how would you uh, react if I uh, actually said that to you? And then Hikigaya, was said, Hikigaya said I would like handle it when it actually happens but he doesn't know right now that could also apply to this situation so he doesn't really know what to do unless it actually happens so i don't know anyways guys i really enjoyed this show and i I can see why I made the first season my anime of the year when it first came out. I questioned my decision on that, but this show is so good. It's a harem done right with realistic development. I mean, I like Nisekoi, but that's more of a joking harem. Plus, there are too many girls in that. And in this, there are just like two main girls. While the other girls may like him, they're not as important to the story. And I can see Iraha joining the club at some point. She got a lot of character development this season. I don't, I don't know if that's... Um, I don't know, just because, you know, for the purpose of the story, but she seems like a main character at this point. And I think I like this uh, show so much because I can relate to Hikigaya, and I love his life. Like, if I ever wanted the life of an anime character, it would be him. Like, his thoughts are so deep, and this, this show just has great writing all around. Like, I want to know the inspiration for this series. Like, has this author done any other series? Like, how did you become such a good writer? So when I finished this anime, I really, I really just wanted more. Like I, I want to know more about like how these characters turn out. Ah, it's just so great, and it's just sad, you know, watching it, them, cause like love hurts. You know, it's interesting like how some people praise love, but it can hurt other people. So like you could love someone, but by you loving them and dating them, someone else could be hurt, and that could happen in this situation. And this can't end without someone being heartbroken, but someone being heartbroken is genuine, right? Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and please discuss this show with me. My Twitter and Facebook are below. Thank you so much for watching this long video, and please subscribe. I'm going to split this up into parts because it's too long. Um, let me see what, what time I'm at. I am at 14 minutes. I think I have 24 minutes, and I have 11 minutes. And then I have a minute, so yeah, four or five parts, maybe. Anyways, uh, would you make someone hate you to save other people?